Look at you, you're afraid of everyone. Look how you look. Look how you wake up. Look what happens with you. The Yetzer Ra is breaking our spirits all of the time, making us judging ourselves and criticizing ourselves and blaming ourselves and seeing the lacking in ourselves all of the time. Look at you. You're so lazy. Look at you. You're so tired. You're lying all of the time. You're failing all of the time. Look at you. You're afraid of everyone. Look how you look. Look how you wake up. Look what happens with you. All of those things can be all under one umbrella that calls Lashon Ara on Hashem. Because the love of the Creator to His children is an unconditional love. And He loves you no matter how you look, no matter how you sound, no matter what you do, no matter who you are. He just loves you as a Creator that loves His creations, as Father of mercy. And we must understand that. That the love of the Creator to His creations, to His children, is not dependent in the actions. If you want to make something better, if you want to be nicer, if you want to serve better, if you want to do something great, great, do that. But do it out of love. Don't do it out of fear. Do it because you really want to do it. That that's the purpose of your life. That you want to find a way how to connect yourself to the Creator in a better way. How I'm going to honor you more, how I'm going to praise you more, how I'm going to make your name be famous and great that people will know you, how I'm going to be your messenger to wake up souls that they're all going to respect you, great, you want to do other things, you want to do wonderful things, go do that, but do it out of love, do it with your wisdom, do it with your heart, don't do it because someone told you to do that, don't do it because you must. Father in heaven, He loves you no matter who you are and what is your level. He just loves you as a creation. He just loves you because He's your Father. You don't need to justify yourself. You don't need to justify your creation. You will never going to be able to do that no matter what you're going to do. It's written that even angels are not able to satisfy Hashem. You know how huge Hashem is? How can you cover? How can you fulfill your obligation to Hashem? Like we're saying in Nishmat Kol Chai, in Shabbat we're saying Nishmat Kol Chai, that even if our mouth and our legs and our arms and our, all of our organs wouldn't stop for a second, for a moment, from praising and running and doing everything in the world for Hashem, it wouldn't be enough. Because you're enjoying and receiving in every moment from, from billions of angles. 